November is National Family Caregivers Month. Whether it's a parent or a spouse or a child, caregiving can be stressful, isolating, and can cause a financial strain on a family. In our Connecting North Alabama report, one North Alabama woman shares her story of navigating those big decisions. At the beginning, I would notice just subtle things, and I thought maybe it was a one-time event. Um, things like losing his keys or his glasses or his wallet or his jacket. Um, forgetting how to get home when he's driving. Mary Towery's husband would soon be diagnosed with dementia. And like most spouses, in sickness and in health, Mary adapted to the changes, providing care on her own. So I did not think about um, him going somewhere outside a home for several years. And until I was, you know, in the thick of things, trying to work full time as well as having caregivers in the home, later on using adult daycare, and it still just became too much. As she focused on the increasing needs of her husband, she pushed her own needs to the side. As far as overwhelming, um, there wasn't a time that I could just leave him and go to the grocery store or go get gas or just leave and go out to lunch with a friend. She was providing 24-7 care. I was always watching over him. So our next step was to get a caregiver during the daytime hours. But then it became overwhelming when I would constantly be watching for his safety. Mary then made the difficult decision to move him into an assisted living facility that provided memory care. This is a big, a big change. It took me several months to not feel guilty and um, to adjust, for myself to adjust. Actually, he adjusted quite well uh, within the first couple of days. It surprised me. He adjusted very well. But it just took me a while to adjust. Accepting the help and support that's available, Mary and her husband's quality of life have improved drastically. I'm less stressed, less overwhelmed. I, um, I was able to retire in peace and be able to do things that I'd always wanted to do, like um, going out to lunch with girlfriends, for example. I couldn't do that for several years. Uh, but also I'm able to come and see him at his best times or go to events here. They have a lot of activities, so I'm able to participate with him in some of those activities. Mary now encourages others to not be afraid to seek help and to look into the resources available. She knows firsthand just how important it is to support caregivers just as much as those they are caring for. And one of the ways you can find that support is through the Tampa of Alabama Regional Council of Governments, or TARCOG, and they're hosting their annual caregiver college tomorrow in Huntsville, providing caregivers and families with a one-stop shop to resources right here in North Alabama. You can find all the details when you open up this story right now on WayTV.com. Just click on the Connecting North Alabama section. And morning anchor Demetria Green and I will be there tomorrow to help facilitate some of the discussions.